Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And I have my first tutorial for the um, MacBook Air. And of course, I'll be showing you today how to check for updates. All right, so if you want to know how to get the latest updates or to check to see if you have the latest update to make sure that your Mac is running at its best, simply do as I'm showing here now. You're going to go over here to the Apple logo in the upper left hand corner. You're going to click um, the Apple logo. And of course, you're going to go into about this um mark so click again once you're here you should see the information right here where it says um the version of mac and it says mac os um big sir and it says version 11.0.1 yours might be a little bit different simply go over to software update right here so go ahead and tap software update which is the second um, button below the information go ahead and tap so you check for updates we just move this around there you go and it's showing you know that there is a update available best to keep your device up to date to see either viruses and so on so an update is available for your mac uh big sir that's 11.1 .1. update 11.1.1 .1. you can also hit update or of course it's a good idea to get some more information and as you can see here my device is brand new and it's saying here that there is actually an update and the update is related to um let's see it says introduce support for airpod max tv and so on and there's a number of other quick updates let me just read through and of course it runs you through the information here and i'm just gonna look at it carefully and it basically had some more support for your device all right so i'll just run through Support high fidelity audio for richer sound, active EQ, noise cancellation, transparency for Apple TV. And there's a bunch of updates here. Apple News and Widgets, App Store, iPhone and iPad and Mac with M1, Photos and so on, Safari. And it is a bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm just going to go ahead with the latest update. And what I'm going to do from here is to install now. I'm going to tap install now and there's an agreement so i'm going to hit agree and it's doing its thing and all you got to do guys is just simply wait for the process to complete and once the process completes guys you should have the latest version of the update you don't need to do anything simply just watch the updates all right guys so as you can see here um the update is completed and of course this one is very large it's roughly um four gigs plus so a good idea would be after updating is to go ahead and check automatically um, update in that way your future updates will be um, um, will be added again security feature let's go ahead and um, use your thumbprint so automatical updates are set all right so i've just done that and now in the future all my updates will be pushed to the device without me needing to uh, manually select the option all right so go ahead and hit update now this large update is now complete and what i'm going to do here is hit update now to have the device fully um, update it should take some time again it's asked for my password and this is just a security feature to make sure everything goes smoothly all right so what i'm going to do is enter my password all right so i've entered my password and the update should do its thing so what's going to happen is that the updates should um, run through the entire process without you needing to do anything. So just simply leave your device alone. Make sure you have enough battery and allow the Apple device, which is the MacBook um, Air, to simply run through the entire process. I'll show you what happens at the end of the process. Remember, um, if needs be, plug in your device and make sure that it doesn't lose power. Don't mess with the process. Allow it to um, do its update fully. Right, so once you're finished you'll be back at this screen simply enter your password to go through there you go guys once you're finished notice it will say uh, your mac is up to date and of course you can see on screen here it says mac is up to date mac os x xr 11.1 last check today at one whatever time it is and of course you can see here i have set to, um i have set it to automatically check for updates either right, so that's how to conveniently set your updates in case you're new to mac or of course maybe you just need a refresher as to where 
how to update your device and actually streamline updates. Alright, as always guys, Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips. See you until next time. Bye.